Our lab at IIT Guwahati has developed the first OFET based bacterial diagnosis with an ability to distinguish bacteria types and it has a detection limit of 10 to the power 3 CFU per ml for gram positive and gram negative bacteria. The development of highly sensitive bacterial sensor is very vital since bacterial contamination in one of the most severe problems, especially in the context of water pollution, food safety, public hygiene, healthcare, and industry. It assumes even greater significance in the case of pathogens as the presence of even a single cell leads to a serious health risk. Thus, rapid quantification of bacteria on site is essential for clinical diagnosis and environmental monitoring for reducing potential infections. Existing methods for bacteria detection rely upon techniques which are time consuming, costly, require special equipment and trained users. However, low cost biocompatible organic field effect transistors are an excellent alternative as single device it can simultaneously act as highly sensitive transducers and as a signal amplifier. The device working mechanism is that the presence of the cell wall in gram uh, negative and its absence in gram positive bacteria results in different type of interactions with the active material of the device. As a result, the current level of the device reacts differently for different type of bacteria and we can detect as well as distinguish the different types of bacteria. Our work has got huge media coverage as well. Various popular newspapers has covered it like Times of India, NDTV, Nature India, etc. So this is the prototype of our device that has been manufactured. The device dimensions are very small in micrometer range and hence densely integration is possible. In a single substrate of 1 inch by 1 centimeter dimension, more than 10 devices can be fabricated at a time. The sample or the analyte is drop casted on the channel. The channel is 40 micrometer in dimension. So here we can see that different analytes has been drop casted on the channel. So one after another, we can uh, characterize all the devices and distinguish between the bacteria. So this is how we get the output characteristics. So the first characteristic that we are getting is for the bare device that is without the analyte. So after drop casting the analyte, we can see a clear increase in current for all the voltage levels. So this is how we can distinguish between the bacteria. Different type of substrates can be used. It can be flexible, rigid, even silicon substrates, glass, paper and plastic can be used as the substrate. So we can fabricate easily skin friendly and wearable devices. Also other devices like the solar cell and OLED can be fabricated in these substrates. Even on the same substrate simultaneously the three devices can be fabricated. Hence, solar cell powered, wearable, flexible sensors can be easily fabricated. The increasing use of chemical warfare agents represent a major security challenge. In particular, organic phosphate nerve agent represent a serious concern as they can be weaponized to morbid large mass. Additionally, they are generally used as a pesticides in agriculture and domestic settings. So we realized its impact and wanted to design a low cost portable sensor. To do so, we have developed a new and selective conjugated polymer for nerve agent detection due to its good electrical property, amplified response, and robustness to undergo electronic and mechanical change in response to chemical warfare agent.
द पोलर आई मीन ग्रुप्स आर स्ट्रेटेजिकली इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन ए पॉलीमर फ्रेमवर्क टू गेट द डिफरेंशिएटेड रिस्पॉन्स एमंग्स द ऑग्नोफॉस्फेट एजेंट्स ए लो कॉस्ट इलेक्ट्रिकल सेंसर वॉज कंस्ट्रक्टेड बाय थर्मल डिपॉजिटिंग एल्यूमिनियम इलेक्ट्रोड्स फॉलोड बाय ड्रॉप कास्टिंग अमीन फंक्शनलाइज पॉलीमर ओवर द चैनल बिटवीन द एल्यूमिनियम इलेक्ट्रोड्स द लो पावर्ड इलेक्ट्रिकल सेंसर वॉज टेस्टेड एट एम्बियट कंडीशन विच शोज एक्सलेंट सेंसिटिविटी टूवर्ड्स नर्व एजेंट मिमिक्स डाइथाइल क्लोरोफॉस्फेट विद ए रैपिड रिस्पॉन्स विद इन थ्री मिनट्स एंड ए वेरी लो डिटेक्शन लिमिट ऑफ फाइव पॉइंट एट पी पी बी द टू टर्मिनल इलेक्ट्रिकल सेंसर वॉज कपल्ड विद कॉम्पैक्ट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंटरफेस फॉर रियल टाइम ऑन साइड डिटेक्शन ऑफ नर्व एजेंट वेपर्स द डिवाइस गिव्स ए स्मार्ट रीड आउट सिग्नल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ब्राइट विजुअल अलर्ट्स फ्रॉम एल ई डी एंड लाउड अलार्म सिग्नल ऑन एक्सपोजर विद नर्व गैस मिमिक वेपर fingerprints are not just patterns they are chemical identities fingerprints impression made by papillary uh, ridges on the ends of the fingers and thumbs fingerprints impression of every human being are unique and does not alter with growth or age hence it can be applied for human and illicit drug identification and investigation of criminal so iit guwahati developed a conjugated polymer for development of fingerprint at multiple platforms the fingerprint have been developed by spraying the polymeric solution on the desired surface and magnified fluorescent images revealed third level of details under uv lamp fingerprint third level details such as island ridge ending core and pores can be visualized using our synthesized materials latent finger imaging by our materials can be used on many surfaces such as aluminum foil glass slide adhesive tape and in coin we also have developed latent fingerprint on commercial can drinking glass and in blood latent surface blood stain fingerprint can be developed easily without any interference from blood and its components hence it can be used for investigation at crime scene and identification of criminals so our materials are rapid room temperature processing and non toxic we have developed spld vtm kit in collaboration of iit guwahati and rr animal healthcare is testing kits involves 25 vtm vials 25 nasal swabs and 25 oral swabs to prevent spreading of corona virus wearing mask taking vaccine and performing more and more testing is the only option we have for sample collection insert nasal swabs into nasal cavity and oral swabs into the back of the throat and gently rotate then drop swabs into the vtm vial and keep this vtm vial in cold storage and transfer it to the testing center to the testing lab for analysis of corona testing as we know covid-19 virus is rna based virus so we developed rna based technology to detect corona virus for this technology we need to isolate rna from the corona virus hence we developed rna kit at iit guwahati in collaboration of rr animal healthcare after sample collection in vtm this sample will undergo rna isolation rna isolation kit consists of gonidium isothiocyanin based slices method and silica gel membrane based purification technology this kit provide highly pure rna from oral and nasal samples after the sample passes through silica gel membrane it has to be centrifuged at 10000 rpm for 1 minute after the centrifugation step most of the sample has been filtered through spin column and it further we wash the sample by the provided buffer solution to get pure rna sample of virus 
Our COVID-19 kit has been designed on the principle of multiplex reverse transcription polymer reaction in multiplex RT-PCR amplification of several different targets can be performed using single PCR experiment. In case of our COVID-19 kit, we are going to detect three genes, the two genes from the virus and one genes from the human cells. Thus, in our kit, we have mixture of three sets of primers and three sets of fluorescent probes. In result interpretation table, when we see amplification of N and RDRP gene, we can say there is viral RNA present in sample. Additionally, when we take sample from the human patient, we will see amplification of RP gene. If we see amplification in all three different genes, we can say that the person is COVID-19 positive. But in case of negative person, we will see amplification in only RP gene. If there is no amplification, the sample is invalid.